this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. I <laughs> that's my son going in the cat flap. <laughs> Liz is about to go to work, so as well as him being out here with me, he keeps nipping in there. There it goes again. <laughs> and ah, you are muddy as anything. Go run around the garden now. Um, right, <laughs> hello. Um, Soon as I spent the weekend sorting my putting shed, I'm using my putting shed today. It's raining, uh, quite bright, but raining. And so I'm just going to spend the afternoon in my shed. I'll show you what I'm doing. Right, this pineapple that has got loads of roots on but still in water. I'm actually going to pot it on today. The garlic I told you about I found and now I'm just going to plant it in modules and I'll find other things to do. <laughs> so I'll show you in a bit. Well that's a couple of hours. Um, not done that much. Finding some modules was uh, took more of the time up. Mason has got completely muddy digging in the garden. I've got to fence it off from him. Um, I've planted the garlic up. Uh, that variety is so white. I don't know how they'll do. I've never done them this way before, but give it a go. Uh, I hadn't got enough to fill the trays so I just put a few onions in the side of them and I've also started some onions off these white ones are the Stuttgarter Giant and the red ones are I don't know but I did tell you on the other video <laughs> the other week uh, shallots I've put my shallots in wasn't enough with the tray so I filled the tray up with red ones red onions golden gourmet they're called so we'll see how they do I've planted my leeks at the back and that variety is called lion prize maker and as you can see finally <laughs> My pineapple is in a pot. It's not going to stay out here though because it's been used to the warmth of the house. So that's where it's going. Um, I've planted peas, which are Feltham first. And raw beans, which are Bunyard's Exhibition. And I think that will do. Yeah, that will do for today. Um, I'll come out and do an afternoon of planting in a couple of days or next week. But I'm happy I've made a start. <laughs> Everything I seem to say just lately, I'm making a start on it. Oh no, I did make a finish on this potting shed. But, oh, it's nice to actually feel that I'm getting started. Well, seeing this here is only a small fraction of what I grow. But it's the first of the year. It's the first time I've actually put things in soil and it's a lovely feeling I mean those onions that are there starting off that's a string of onions I normally get four to five strings of onions which normally see me through the year I've done more thing with them more things with them so I'm on my last string now but because I've done them and preserved them and canned them and dehydrated them, then um, 
I should be all right until these are it's a size that I can pull. So, seeing as I'm feeling so good, I think I'll go in and rest. <laughs> now I'll do other things in the kitchen. I can leave them here in the potting shed. Uh, it'll be warm enough for them until I've actually clean the greenhouse down and then they can go up there which means there's more room in here for other things thank you very much bye it's a perfect situation